invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. <laughs> Luigi Basco left Italy to start his new life in America. He promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, <laughs> is it now Christmas shopping season? And all the good Americans, they move moving out of their houses and they start to live in one bigger place. Department of stores. <laughs> Mamma mia, you should have seen the crowds. Yesterday, I was went to Cesar Rosebuck. <laughs> I went there to buy a two cents washer for my sink, which is a leaking. Five times I'm a start off to the hardware department. And a five times the crowd is a push me back to the ladies' house coats. <laughs> Finally, I'm a come home with a two cents a washer for the sink, which the clerk is a gift wrapped a tied with a pink ribbon and a stamp the donor open up before a Christmas. <laughs> Where does it turn out the nice anyway? This Christmas, even my sink is going to be surprised with a present. <laughs> Mamma mia, yesterday I'm sent to you your Christmas present, a bread toaster. <laughs> this is a wonderful American invention, but it's the one thing I'm one of you about. Don't try to stuff in the whole of bread at the one time. <laughs> Put in just the one slice of bread, and I don't do nothing until you see the smoker come out. <laughs> Then you take out of the bread, scrape off the blacker part, and eat. <laughs> this is a taste almost as good as a plain of bread that's a stale. <laughs> but at Christmas time, Mama, everybody has got a list with a friend's name on it. I've got a mine too. Everybody's name is on it, except my countryman Pasquale, because... Because for him, I'm going to something extra special. All year long, I'm going to put away a dollar a week in my bank's Christmas club. Till now, I'm going to fifty dollars. Just for this big surprise for Pasquale. It's a wonderful surprise. And it's such a big secret, I'm going to hate even to tell him myself. <laughs> but you, you are going to tell him, Mamma Mia. You see, everybody is to get to somebody. So oh, here comes a Pasquale. He's in my store now. I'm right to you, Mole. Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Merry Christmas. And a Merry Christmas to you, little banana nose. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, I know you're short of money, so don't get me nothing that you can't pay out in the 12 easy installments. <laughs> Pasquale, uh, Pasquale, uh, you uh, you finished with your Christmas shopping yet? Luigi, how would you like to see television every night the next year? Oh, Pasquale, you shouldn't. Don't worry, I didn't. <laughs> well, what are you talking? I'm only teasing, Luigi. Uh -oh. I'm going to buy you a big, beautiful television set. Oh, Pasquale, you wonderful. Sure, and I'm not going to get you just a plain little 10 inch screen. No. This is going to have a 16 inch screen. Oh. Is it going to keep out all of the flies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Pasquale. Uh, also, uh, this set is going to have a 100 foot electric cord. Here, but Pasquale, I've got a little room. I don't need a 100 foot electric cord to reach the socket. Oh, I forgot to tell you something, little cabbage puss. <laughs> You're going to plug the cord into your store, but the television is set is going to play in my daughter Rosa's room. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Elvis Crowley, you mean every time I'm going to watch you the television is set there? I'm going to do it to Woody, your daughter? That's all right, you lucky popsy, you. <laughs> but, Squire, if you don't mind, I'm going to listen to my radio. That's the matter. Don't you think there's enough for the sea on the television? What a shoot, but, Squire. But what your daughter Rossi in the room, or who's going to be able to see it? <laughs> oh, Luigi, will you stop her with the fat to talk? So what if my rail roses are weigh 250 pounds? That's not so big. It's all the way you look at it. Pasquale, if you don't mind, I'm rather not to look. <laughs> oh, Luigi, why don't you think about it? Be fair. Remember, there's a two sides to everything. Yeah, but there's a eight the sides to us. <laughs> oh, Luigi, you make me so mad. Remind me after you give me my Christmas present, I'm never sure to speak to you again. <laughs> well, all right, all right, the first quality. Now, if you don't mind, please, I'm, I'm going to go to my night to school class. All right, go, 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 Luigi. Now, remember, don't go spending any money on me for Christmas. Huh? My waist is a 56 and my neck size is a 19. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, the first quality. Goodbye. I, I'm going to see you later. <laughs> yeah, that little pumpkin head. <laughs> Where is he going to get the money to buy and a good presents anyway? He's always got to come to me for money. I'm his private little marshal plan. <laughs> hey, what's this he's left behind? A little envelope. I'm a no like to peek, but if the inside of the envelope wants to peek on me... <laughs> hey, what's this? Fifty dollars. Oh, he's a do something behind my back. Let's see what he's write on this paper. Christmas, Celeste. Well, my name must be on the top. Miss Spaulding. Hmm. Schultz, Horowitz, Olson. Hey, <laughs> must be saving me for the last. The mailman, Rosa, wind cleaner, Officer Flanagan, Tommy the newsboy. Jake the Pickler Man. He left me out. <laughs> Fifty dollars. He's a hid away from me and he's a left me out. To me. He's a guardian in America. When he's a come here from Italy, I'ma give him his a first a pair of shoes. He's a first a haircut. He's a first a comic book. And when he's a no could to read it, I was a help him out. I was a get somebody to read it to him. <laughs> No prisoner for Pasquale, huh? I'm not going to show him this a list and this a money. Well, I ain't going to keep it. I'm just going to hold it for him till Christmas, 1999. All right, class, class, quiet, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Horowitz? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Up, dancer, up, prancer, up, donder, up, blitzen. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, is that supposed to be St. Nicholas calling his reindeer? It ain't Frankie Lane calling his mule train. <laughs> Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, no more singing. And stop cracking your belt. All right. Down, Hickok. <laughs> oh, smile, Miss Balding. It's just a Christmas spirit. Here, here's a little present I brought for you. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Schultz. Uh, Miss Balding, I brought you something, too. And, and here's my gift to Miss Balding. I brought you something also. Ooh, what a bunch of copycats. <laughs> well, class, this is... Well, it's wonderful. I, I can't find the words. Who cares, as long as you don't find the price tags. <laughs> <laughs> now, Schultz, yeah. how do it's Olsen? Here, I'm brought to you some little things, too. Thank oh, you, thank Louise. You, oh, that's wonderful. Uh, fellas, fellas, should I do it to him now? Sure, yeah, go ahead. Give it to him. Go ahead. Oh, right. <clears throat> what? Luigi, we got together yesterday after class, and, uh, well, we, we, we all talked about you, and... What a nice fella you was, and uh, <laughs> but we shipped in, and here's your Christmas present, and that's all. Merry yeah, Christmas, Merry yeah, Christmas, Mr. Basco. Oh, friends, what a wonderful present! 
This is the most beautiful fountain of pen I've ever owned. Is it the only fountain of pen I've ever owned? Oh. <laughs> Mamma mia. A gold top with a beautiful inner sides. Luigi, go ahead. Read the inscription that we wrote to you on the pen. Your ho, Luigi, and they come straight from the heart. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm a read. Fourteen a carat to gold a filled. <laughs> Luigi, you're reading the point. <laughs> Here, I'm the cap, you read. Oh, with a sincere friendship, Christmas in 1949. Oh, class, is it beautiful? And, and I'm a can't to think of any other words that you could have added. More words? If we added any more words, we'd have you had ended up with two fountain pens. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, we're glad you like it. It was just a slight return for the presents you got us. Uh, Luigi, uh, what did you get for Pasquale? Huh? Oh, well, uh, well uh, for Pasquale, I'm getting uh, something extra special. You see, he's the one who's brought me to this country. He's a watch over me all of the time. So I'm getting him a big surprise. A wallet? A what? A necktie? A noose? <laughs> <laughs> no, class, it was, it was none of those things. It's a surprise Well, and... give us a hint already. Well, uh, is it something that Pasquale not going to touch, smell, or feel? He's not going to keep it, but once he's got it, he's not going to change it. Stop, Luigi. You're getting us all for shimmer. <laughs> oh, come on, Luigi. You just got a curiosity all around. Yeah, what are you going to give Pasquale? Well, uh, well, yesterday I went to the bank, uh, took out the money, and I said it to myself, what am I going to get a Pasquale that's uh, different? Something that nobody has ever given anybody before. Aha, so you're getting him a shrunken mummy head. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, will you please stop interrupting and let Mr. Basco finish? Well, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm a took of this money, and I'm a... Mama, Mama Mia. Well, is something wrong, Mr. Basco? Well, a Pasquale is a Christmas of money. It's a... It's a mission. I'm lost. Look, no, look, wait, wait, Luigi. First, look in all your pockets. Your uh, entrance. Well, for you might have left it. No, no, I'm a left it in no place. I'm lost it. Oh, it's a terrible... Please, please, Miss Potter, you excuse me, I'm gonna go look for it. Oh, certainly, Mr. Basco. Ah, Luigi, don't take it so hard. Smile, it's only money. <laughs> so you lost it. What are you going to do? Jump off the bridge? How much money did you lose? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Luigi, move over and I'll jump off with you. <laughs> second act of Luigi Basco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, is it no use even to tell you what the wonderful present I was going to get for Pasquale? Because I was a loss of the $50, I was a saver for it. All night long, I'm looking at the streets with my searchlight. No money, and it's a cost of me 20 cents for batteries. <laughs> all the in my house, I'm going to look all over. Under my rug, in the flower pot, in the chandelier. All I'm going to find is a dust in a flower pot, in a chandelier, and a no lamp, but the one that's in no work. All the I'm going to push away all the furniture, sweep up all of the floors. Dust under the couch and at the bed. I'm no fan of the money, Mamma Mia, but today I'm a got the cleanest room in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma Mia, I'm 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 a got a no heart to look at a Pasquale. Right now I'm a see him looking through the window. He don't see me, but I'm a see him. Yeah, he's a talking to Rosie, and he's looking very mad. I'm a gonna just imagine what he's a saying to her about to me. Rosa, stop eating for a minute. I want to talk to you. All right, Papa. Rosa, who's the best friend that Luigi ever had? You, Papa. And who's it treated him better, fairer than anybody in this country? You, Papa. And who's it turned out to be a rotten, ungrateful jackass? You, Papa. <laughs> oh, for this, I'm sending you in a college. Can you say nothing but a you, Papa? (laughs) 
Go back it to you, Papa. <laughs> Russia, from now on, we're true with a Luigi. Don't ever associate with him. Don't go near him. Don't ever let me see you thinking about him. Can I marry him, Papa? Not even at that. <laughs> Russia, if he was to come back to you when his hands in his knees, what would you say to him? Luigi, you want to play piggyback? Oh, shut up your face. <laughs> I'm so mad on him, he's never going to get back his $50. Some Christmas the list he's had. Presents for everybody, even Jake and the pickle man. But for me, nothing. It's not the present is so much. I wouldn't care if he was to give me a cheap 29 cent a necktie. Same one I gave him last year. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad on him, I've got to cut him out of my will. Papa, have you got a will? No, but I'm going to make one out to just so I can cut him out. <laughs> Papa, maybe Luigi just forgot about you. Impossible. I've been a hinting since the Thanksgiving. <laughs> forgot, huh? Rosa, mind the store. I'm going to talk with that little pup squeak. I'm not going to stand this. Better have a good reason why he left me out of his Christmas solicitor. I'm going to break his neck and... Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, Pasquale. Merry Christmas. That all depends. What are you looking so sad about? You did something you're sorry for, maybe? Pasquale, I'm a lost little white envelope, but maybe, maybe you was a founder. Absolutely not, and I can approve it with six of witnesses. I'm a believer, you, Pasquale. Uh, uh, Luigi. What, the Pasquale? You didn't uh, forget anything lately, did you? Forget that? Well, you know, it's a season now for Santa Claus. People are being generous. Fill the stockings over the fireplace. Pasquale, I'm sorry, but... Uh... Don't butter me no butts. <laughs> Luigi, all year long, you've been crying about that broken-down old radio you got that's always blowing the tubes. So yesterday, I went out and I bought you something. A new radio? No, three new tubes. <laughs> that was going to be your present, including a few other things I was going to get you. But now you could have forget them. Well, Pasquale, please listen. After all, a fellow who's a forgetter, I'm alive. Well, Pasquale, I'm a... I'm a didn't forget to you. Huh? You got a something for me, Luigi? Are you saving for surprise, eh, Luigi? Yeah, yeah, Pasquale. Here's your present and a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Luigi. What a beautiful fountain of pen. Uh -huh. Look, a gold cap for 14 carats a point. That's right. Oh, there's a writing on it. Uh -huh. With a sincere friendship, a Christmas in 1949. Luigi, I gotta apologize to you. I had you all around. That's all right, Pasquale. As long as you're happy enough. <laughs> I do. I'm very happy. <laughs> Now you did me a favor, I gotta do you a favor. <laughs> Pasquale, please, no rosa. Is it not the roses? It's something else. Luigi, when you left the store yesterday, I was standing there, and suddenly. Luigi, I... my fellow boob. Oh, hello, Schultz. <laughs> Smile, Luigi. A Merry Christmas to everybody, even you, Pasquale. <laughs> Merry Christmas to Mr. Delicatessen, man. <laughs> Luigi, I never got it a chance to really thank you for that little wallet you gave me for a present. That's all right, Schultz. He used it in a good health. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love that little secret compartment inside where you can hide the money. <laughs> You know, it's really very tricky. It took my wife ten minutes to find it. <laughs> Smile, everybody. Be like me, always laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my rheumatism is killing me. <laughs> but anyway, Luigi, thanks for the wallet. And it's too bad that you didn't I find it. I should say, I'm, I'm going to talk oh, to no, you. Just a second, Luigi. Pasquale. It's too bad that Luigi couldn't get you a present this year. What are you talking about? The Luigi would never forget his best friend, Pasquale. Pasquale, yeah. Look, Schultz, uh, Luigi's Pasquale, uh, given this to me. Pasquale, yeah. That's a very suspensive a present. Himmel, ain't that the same fountain pen the class gave you, Luigi? Ah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's right, the show, sir. I'm like it is so much ammo and out, and I got a same kind of water for Pasquale. Uh-huh. And where's yours, Luigi? <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, you know, Schultz, uh, on the way home from a school, I'm a lost man. Oh, you did, huh? Uh-huh. Then tell me, Luigi, how could you buy Pasquale a fountain pen if you lost the $50? Luigi, you mean you couldn't have buy me a present when you lost the money, so you gave me the fountain and pen the classes I give you? Is that what you mean, Luigi, eh? Huh? I'm a... Merry Christmas, Pasquale. Luigi. Luigi, why didn't you tell him why you didn't give him a present? Pasquale, did you know that this, this little Wiener Schnitzel here, <laughs> he's been saving a dollar a week for his lunches and car fares just so he could prepare a big surprise for you. Luigi, you was going to spend all of the fifty dollars out of me? What could you buy? A suit, a coat, a shoes, a, <laughs> a down payment on an automobile? <laughs> no, 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 Pasquale, it was nothing like that. Was there nothing you could wear or eat or play with? Was uh, was there something for the heart? Well, what? Tell us already. Well, to me, to me, Christmas is not for just the giving of things. Is uh, is for the spirit, the peace and earth, the good will towards a man. Pasquale, if what I was going to give you would have made you feel it that way. It would have been a real Christmas present. Well, Luigi, where is this present? Maybe if you was suddenly to find the money, you could still buy it. No, Pasquale, it's not in a store. You see, I was went to the church, and I said to Father Connie, Father Connie, I'm going to be glad to give the church $50 if on a Christmas night, your little boys choir with their beautiful voices... There was it to come and a sing out the side of Pasquale's store. A little boy's a choir. Ach, Luigi, only you could think of a thing like that. Yeah, but what's the use? I was supposed to be there this morning, but I'm, I'm, I didn't have the money. I'm sorry, Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale, wh where are you going? I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> what? Luigi... I'm the worst rat that's ever crawled on the face of this earth. You see, I was the one... Luigi, what's that? Hey, Pasquale, that's the choir. There was a come anyway. Look, there's a Father Connie. Open the doors and let's hear. Yeah, listen. Oh, it's your play. Oh, it's so wonderful. Connie, that was a beautiful. 
But I'm not expected you to come. I'm not going to bring in no money. Luigi, the church never asks for money in advance. I'd have answered by the father that I'm not got the nut in it. You see, I was a loser. Luigi, look under the table. That's an envelope. Hey, it's looking like my envelope. I'm looking inside. Yeah, there's some money inside. My money. Ten or twenty, thirty, forty or fifty. Six or three, seventy, eighty. Ninety. Hundred. You see, Luigi, you found your money after all. Yeah, but, but, a father, how is it possible? It was only 50 in the envelope and now it's 100. Luigi, it's a Christmas of time. A miracle it can happen. Yeah, Pasquale. I wonder who's made it a miracle. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, Pasquale has got his Christmas present after all. And I'm finishing this letter to you with my brand new fountain pen. Pasquale is the one to write some extra words on it, like, uh, you best the friend of Pasquale, but his Schultz is in a letter. So, is it now pen and a pencil set? <laughs> Mamma Mia, maybe, maybe you was thinking it to yourself. How much good was my present to have on a Pasquale? Well, I'm going to tell you. After everybody has went away, the father, the choir, Schultz, I'm going to look at the empty envelope, and I'm going to say to Pasquale, Pasquale, you made it a miracle. And a Pasquale has said it to me, no, Luigi. You did. It's a take a miracle to make a miracle. Merry Christmas, Mamma Mia. To Uncle Pedro, the goat, to everybody in our little town, but most especially to you. You're loving his son, Luigi Basco, the immigrant. next Tuesday at the same time over most of these stations when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco describing his adventures in America. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. It's Ethel of the Barrymores and Bing of the Crosbys who are teaming up to bring you a merry half hour on CBS tomorrow night. Yes, on CBS's Wednesday night Bing Crosby show, you'll hear Ethel Barrymore bringing her great talents to a special Christmas story. And Bing will sing Silent Night, A Desta Fidelis, and White Christmas among his songs. The Bing Crosby show is heard every Wednesday night on most of these same CBS stations. <laughs> Bob Stevenson speaking. Now stay tuned for Escape, as well as immediately on CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.